What is going on guys, Miles here, and in this video we'll be taking a look at all of the weapon changes which were made in the recent Call of Duty World War 2 multiplayer patch, let's do this. There aren't a load of weapon changes in this patch but I think they're quite important so I wanted to make a video letting you guys know about them. And the first one is for the FG42 rifle which was probably the best rifle in the game before this patch so I'm not really surprised to see it nerfed a little bit as it now has a reduced fire rate and slightly increased recoil which kind of makes me sad because I just started using this gun like a week ago and I really liked it. It reminded me of the Man of War from Black Ops 3 and I really like that weapon but now I probably won't be using it that much because of these nerfs but I did think these nerfs were necessary because at the CWL Dallas event recently this was by far the most used rifle in the game. For the submachine guns, the MP40 and the M1928, also known as the Tommy gun, have had increased fire rates, which I think is pretty good overall, especially for the MP40, because I felt that gun was a little bit like lackluster, considering you had to prestige the division to get it, and it didn't really feel as good as like the PPSH or the Type 100, so hoping that gun is a little bit better now. As for the M1928, I thought that gun was alright, so I don't think it really needed a buffed fire rate, and it was really fast anyway, so it's going to be interesting to see how good this gun is now. Movement speed has been increased for all the LMGs, which I think is quite nice, because they did feel a little bit sluggish in this game, and there has been reduced recoil for the MG15 and the Lewis LMG as well, which I think is pretty good overall, but I feel like the LMGs lack a little bit because they kind of feel like assault rifles with their magazine sizes, but you move really slow with them and they take forever to reload, so I don't think LMGs are that great in the game currently, and I think the best way to improve them would be to increase the magazine size. The machine pistol now deals less damage, which I don't really have a lot to say about this. I felt that pistol was pretty balanced to be honest, because it had barely any bullets in the magazine, but to be fair, it was pretty damn powerful, uh, but I didn't really use it myself, I usually stick to the semi-auto pistols anyway. And finally, the combat shotgun now has an increased damage range, which I think is really good because I felt shotguns were pretty trash in this game. Uh, but one strange thing is that only the combat shotgun received this buff. None of the other shotguns have, and I think the sword off shotgun could be the worst weapon in the game, and that thing didn't get buffed unfortunately, so I'm a little bit confused by this buff. Uh, I really think the other shotguns should get it as well, but I guess it is an improvement and it makes one of the shotguns a little bit less trash. But there we have it, they were all of the weapon changes which were made in the recent COD World War 2 Christmas patch. Also, currently for this week only, it is double XP in Zombies, so if you enjoy that game mode, hop on Zombies, get some easy levels because it is double XP. Hopefully you guys found this video useful, if you did, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty, but I'll see you guys in my next video.